It's a first of its kind business in Minnesota and it is fulfilling a big need. Fire Mountain Fabrics exclusively sells native prints. It's owned by two native women. WCCL's Muriel Moe shows why the road to making their dream a reality wasn't easy. I like this one. I like this one. You guys have so many favorites. These aisles of colorful fabrics became a playground for these little girls. They're all native students from Badote Learning Center. In the classroom, they drew up their dream designs of powwow skirts. Then their teachers brought them here on a field trip to Fire Mountain Fabrics to bring those designs to life. This is a place for these kids to get in touch with their culture and identity. This one's a makwa. Ooh, that one's really pretty. What do you call that? Makwa. Makwa? What does that mean? That means a bear in Ojibwe. Seeing those kids even speak Ojibwe, that was pretty cool. This is why we're doing this. Arlene Fairbanks and Jessica Travis are the owners and best friends. They wanted to start a business that sold native fabrics because the big box stores never had what they needed to make native regalia. So you either have to travel to go find it or you order it online. Fire Mountain Fabrics was born so quickly. It started as an idea back in August, then two months later they were selling these fabrics online. Four months after that in February, you could buy these fabrics in person. Building the business quickly felt like the only option. And um, I just remember thinking, holy cow, they gave me six months. Six months, um, and it was stage four ovarian. Arlene's cancer diagnosis changed her focus instantly. And I was just devastated, really. And I remember driving with my son back home, and it was like, what's important now? When you go through treatments like she was and just watching that, there's no better time than today to make your dreams come true. The two made their dream happen and put the word fire in their store name, which symbolizes healing in native rituals, which is ultimately what the store is doing. It's definitely um, kept me with the will to just keep moving forward. Open the shin, look at me. In Brooklyn Park. Please, this way. Mary Elmo's WCCO 4 News. Their dream is spreading beyond Minnesota. Since opening last month, Fire Mountain Fabrics has had customers from Canada, Washington State, and the Dakotas.